Hello, and welcome back to Danganronpa Another 2. Last time we were in uh, Sora's ideal utopia, and she realized it was bad, and that she, you know, doesn't want that to be the end. So she basically broke out of it, and then we went and picked up everyone, and now we're back at the trial for what I believe is going to be the last episode of this series. I I don't see how this could be um, split up at all. I don't. I was kind of previewing uh, other people, like just seeing how long the last trial took for other people. And it looks like we have like an hour left, which is about a good length. If it goes longer than that, it goes longer than that. Uh, this will just be a really long video. This is the last one though of this entire series. Wow, uh, this is a little crazy. I started this in the fall of 2022 and it is now almost spring of 2024. So quite a bit of time has been spent with the Dogger by another series and it's really sad to see it ending, but I'm also excited to see what's in store for the future of this channel. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Oh no, Yuki! <laughs> hey. Hey, wake up. Uh. Oh no, it's Utsuro. No! No! No, he has the same voice as Shobai, what do I do? Ah! Uh. <sighs> pant, pant. <laughs> oh my. This is gonna be so awkward. What do I do? Do I just like... I guess I can do the Yuki voice, but sound really bored? That's the only thing I can think of, because I literally gave Shobai the Itsura voice. What is this? Ugh. Ooh, ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Master Itsura. This has to be a dream. No, it can't be. What is this? I'm... Master Atsuro, who are you? Finally, I finally did it. You might not remember me, but I certainly remember you. No, it's not as simple as that. I've been trying to find you my entire life. No, you. Yes, I brought you back. You've risen from the dead. You're still limited to the virtual world for now. But, Master, it'll take a while for you to adjust to your new body. You're one of the kids I helped in the past. Yes, I'm so glad you remember me. Why did you bring me back? What? How did you bring me back to life? Don't bother asking too many questions about how. After all, you're Master Tsuro. Don't talk around the subject. Answer me. I've been wanting to die for so long, but because of my power, it wasn't possible. I finally thought the death I wanted was here. So, you want to know why I brought you back? Isn't it obvious, Master? It's because... Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Mikado. I want what's yours. Uh... Ugh. What are you doing? <laughs> Master Tsuro, isn't that what you wanted? To die again? Master Tsuro, I want all of your power. Ugh. You're so weak. You can't even resist. It's impossible to resist in this world. You're just an ordinary student with no luck whatsoever. Okay, wait, wait. So he wants to run him back and give him a body only to kill him again? I, I'm a little confused. Mikado, what is the game plan here? Are you going to take over Akane's body? Is that is that actually the game plan? <sighs> Thank you, Master Tsuro, for giving everything to me, for reviving yourself. You're all mine, Master. I'll take your divine luck using my own hands. Uh, 
Feeling a little tight there. I'll fulfill your wish. I'll make it come true as an apology for bringing you back. I'll put you back where you belong. Mm. Nobody cares about you anymore. You're just an empty shell. Now rest in peace. Mikado, you are so confusing to me. I don't understand you. And that's how Utsuro died. The end. Get your hands off him. Who is that? Is that Sora? Yeah. Oh, Scrunchy is off. Fully awakened. Power. Sora, go. Oh, she looks cool. That's enough. Sora? How are you? It's Zero, over here. Sora! <laughs> what happened? <sighs> I'm here. Barely. Yoriko Oroha, Yuki. Impossible. What the hell is going on? It's Zero, are you okay? He's like, whoa, who's this guy who looks exactly like me? There's two of us. Oh, no, that's not why he's like that. Is that you, Akane Tyra? No, I'm not Akane Tyra, but she's here with me. I understand that now. How? How did we escape our utopias? I'm grateful to you, Mikado, because of your needless gesture to throw us into our utopias. I've realized everything now. So that's Utsuro. You stole my body and ruined my life. Yuki, I understand how you must feel, but let's focus on Mikado for now. Okay. So, what just happened? Didn't Mikado just try to kill Utsuro? Mikado never explained to us why he wanted to revive Utsuro in the first place. The human Mikado, however, was obsessed with the person called Utsuro and the protection that comes with his luck. Even after he became an alter ego, we just assumed he was just doing it for the luck aspect, just like the voids. I should have noticed earlier, but now that he's an alter ego, he doesn't have the exact same personality as his human counterpart. So Mikado wasn't looking to revive Utsuro, he was just looking to revive his luck? I thought he already did that in the game room though, am I wrong? I thought he was like, look, welcome to this room where you can do slots and it's divine luck, oh ha ha. Like, don't you have that, buddy? Isn't that enough? I don't know. <laughs> when Utsuro came back to life and his luck returned, he tried to take the power of divine luck for himself. Eh, but Mikado always spoke so highly about Mr. Utsuro. There's no way he'd do such a thing. Mikado does admire Utsuro. No matter how different an alter ego may be to its original creator, it's still based on their brain structure. But their admiration is different. This Mikado's admiration for Utsuro has gone beyond its limits, and eventually he wanted to become the one he admired so much. So Mikado, am I wrong? All right. Knowing that, the personality override starts to make sense. Mikado said that my body and Utsuro's are similar, so I felt like something was wrong when he said he needed Akane's body instead of mine. He wasn't even planning to put Utsuro's personality over Akane Tyra's body. Oh, okay. I was right. Haha. -ha. He was going to put himself over her body. He has to do that. He's an alter ego after all. He needed to have a physical body to go back to the real world. Even if Mikado gained the powers of divine luck, there would be a limit to what he could do since he doesn't have a body. However, something happened at the last minute. We came back and found this all out on our own. You've lost. Yo, so what are you gonna do? Looks like your plan is falling apart. <laughs> He's cool. Uh, all right, I'll admit it since I'm cornered. Over the years, what I've been planning isn't to revive Divine Luck, but rather to steal Divine Luck. Steal Divine Luck? Master Tsuro's Divine Luck is an incredible phenomenon that even I, who knows all, cannot fully comprehend. But Master Tsuro, the owner of that power, is just an ordinary human being. Is it as bad for a mere human to have the power of a god? Oh, I could use that power in much better ways. He's like, shut up, Mikado. Look at you acting all confident now that you know my true intentions. Still, it doesn't change anything. How so? I'll admit, it's true your return surprised me, but there's nothing you can do now. 
The graduation ceremony has already taken place using majority vote. And the personality override has already taken place. Can't you see the countdown on the screen up there? Oh no, only 10 minutes left. As soon as that timer reaches zero, this virtual world will disappear. I'll enter Miss Terra's body and be reborn. We won't let that happen. Don't you see? I've already fully absorbed Master Tsuro's divine luck. What? However, it's quite strange that Yuki is still conscious, even though Master Tsuro has returned. But either way, Master Tsuro's return means that his resurrection is complete, even if it's only virtually. So I should know this. Would someone with luck like Master Tsuro really let himself be strangled so easily? It Tsuro's always wanted to die. Wasn't it because of Divine Luck that he didn't end up dying in the first place? No, Divine Luck isn't 100% controlled by Tsuro's will. But no matter how much he wanted to die, he couldn't because of a human's natural survival instincts making suicide impossible. Exactly so. In other words, the current Utsuro with us now is just an ordinary boy with no luck whatsoever. Furthermore, all of Utsuro's divine luck was absorbed by the artificial divine luck here. How can you stop that? You had your chance before you chose graduate. It's impossible to stop the graduation sequence. Once already activated, except for an administrator like myself. Wait, wait. Shobai. Shobai has administrator privileges. Perhaps he can still do something. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Hopefully? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you find a way to overcome the situation because it's already over for you. Oh, that can't be. I shouldn't have left my utopia. Yeah, you're stupid. Everyone loves Aroha Utopia. That was that was awesome. I... I... <sighs> I ended up trapped again, all oh, because Sora brought me back here. Oh, you selfish little rat. I love her, though. <laughs> no matter how you spin it, at least I gave you all a chance to be happy. I might have killed unnecessary people I didn't need for the plan, but at least I prepared a happy utopia for you all. However, it appears you'd rather die here, whilst you watch everything I've aimed for come to fruition. Yeah. Makaja, you! This works out fine in the end. I was planning on killing Utsuro in the end anyways. Farewell to you all, except from our dear Shobar, who accepted my deal. Fire. What? If you're that confident, do it. Fire at me. Sisora, don't provoke him! Whilst I admire your confidence, unfound confidence isn't confidence. It's stupidity. If you want to die that bad, I'll gladly do the honors. Sora, watch out! The end. Oh, it didn't work. What did she do? What? Ah! Ooh, what the hell? He just got shot. Oh, look over there. Oh, Sarugi's back, and he's gonna redeem himself. If you intend to use violence, I'll respond accordingly. Huh, you guys? It might seem like a happy fantasy, but it was nothing more than a sight that disgusted me. Surugi, Ray. Don't take this the wrong way. I wasn't trying to save you. It doesn't matter if you're a Connie Tyra or not. You still committed heinous crimes under Mikado's orders. So, you escaped your utopia on your own. I was sure you two would make it back without my help. On what basis? On the basis of my memories as a Kane Tyra in my head. Well said. Ugh. It's zero. I didn't ever want to confront you again. Surugi, focus on Mikado. He's next. I'm not sure I can do that. What? How? How? How did you just shoot me? It's impossible. I absorbed its tears divine luck, so why did that shot hit me? Mikado. You said that unfound co confidence is stupidity, yeah? I'll say that back to you. What? How can you be so sure that you completely absorbed Utsuro's luck? That's idiotic. If Utsuro still had his luck, then he wouldn't have gotten strangled like that. Also, my calculations were perfect. I can feel it. I can feel the luck coursing through my body. That's not Utsuro's divine luck. It's just your own artificially created divine luck protection. First of all, have you e ever considered that your preconditions were wrong? My preconditions? What are you? Itsuro never had divine luck to begin with. 
What? Oh, what are you talking about? Of course Utsuro had divine luck! You tried to bring back divine luck by recreating the personality of Utsuro from the time he died. But that would never work because the divine luck had already passed on to a new host. A new host? What do you mean? Bullshit. Utsuro is no longer the holder of divine luck. He hasn't been for a while now. The current host is Akane Taira. In other words, me. Oh, and that's how she lived? Because he gave her his luck at the end. What? What's with this plot twist? Strictly speaking, I'm not Akane Taira. I'm just someone who has her memories. A deeply buried fragmented memory of Akane Taira told me that. I don't know why, but in the last moments of his life, Utsuro gave her his power. Isn't that right, Utsuro? So that's what happened. I was wondering how his protection still persisted for so long after his death for a while now. Doesn't it sound weird? If the owner died, shouldn't the power die alongside it? If the owner truly disappeared, there should be no remains of their lock left. So it turns out Akane Tyra is the new owner of Divine Luck, and it was only weakened due to her unconscious state. In other words, all the members of Void went through all this to revive somebody who didn't even have what they wanted after all. N no way! And that's what happened. That's what happened? Shoba, did you already know? Turiya tried to leave earlier than expected by Mikado, and thanks to that, the firewall disappeared. Meaning I was able to log out earlier than I originally planned to. So in the meantime, I did some research on Akane Tyra. Brain cells can't survive without a body or life support, so I thought something was off. Her brain survived because of divine luck! <laughs> I get it now, the final piece of the puzzle. The reason Mikado, who should have been defeated because of the director's plan, came back is because... of albino girl over here. The Mikado got revived by Sora! What do you mean? I only had two endings from the original plan. My first ending was Mikado gets brought back because all the contestants except himself died in the class trial. And the graduation system would instantly pass him as the winner. That's the ending Mikado originally planned. But thanks to my betrayal, the virtual world was shut down and the near world program, as well as Mikado, were frozen. Yuki, Maida, and Albino both didn't have a body to return to, so their personality should have vanished and the rest would have returned to the real world alive. That was the good ending that the Kisaragi Foundation wanted. Sora and me were going to... no way. If Mikado was to be defeated as planned, everyone would have had a happy ending. Except for Yuki, Maida, and Albino. That's why she revived Mikado using the power of divine luck. It wasn't a conscious choice. However, I promised him we'd all go back together. I couldn't just let Yuki be trapped forever. Shobai Hashimoto! Shobai, damn you! You knew all this and still kept quiet! You get what you deserve. You were the one who hid information about Akane Tyro from me. <laughs> oh, get him! Ugh, I love Shobai. I wasn't 100% sure of it either. It was a gamble. What was I? Really working so hard to revive an ordinary person who didn't even have divine luck? No, that's impossible. It can't be true. Akane Tyra had divine luck. I should have noticed. Do you want to know why you didn't notice? Because the default value of your algorithm states that Master Utsuro is the owner of divine luck. What? I know because I'm an artificial intelligence too. Even alter egos have a default algorithm inserted to them by their developer when they were initially created. If that was your default algorithm, it would be near impossible to think against it. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like how I couldn't disobey you. What do you mean? I'm like a god! I transcend all humans and all alter egos! Give up, Mikado. You should know more than anyone. No matter how much protection you've received thanks to divine luck, it's nothing compared to the real deal. <gasps> Good job, Sora! It's zero. Why did you give your luck to Akane? I didn't even know it was something you could pass on. I don't really get it, but thank you. Your actions saved Yuki and everyone. Why do you express gratitude? That power is a curse. Giving you that power is just the same as ruining your life. One day you'll despise me for it. Nope, I disagree. Sure, I have the power now, but I'll disappear along with the Neo World program anyway. The power too. But as long as I can use it to save everyone, it's worth it. You'll disappear. Huh. Huh? Ha 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 ha! Oh my god. Stop laughing. It's so hard to do in your voice. 
what? Have you finally lost it? It's pathetic how actually dumb you are compared to how smart you're acting. Ooh, what's your deal? Do you even know what's happening? Your plan has failed. And you still don't get it, do you? Well, you are all idiotic humans after all. I wouldn't expect you to understand something actually complex. Very well, I'll explain it to you. First of all, Kanetara got divine luck from Mitsuro. Second, Sora can use it because of Kanetara's personality is still somewhere within you. And third, Sora's just a tool that I made, so she's a personality that will disappear at the end of the countdown. So what's that got to do with anything? Don't you understand whose body I'll take over after the countdown ends? Huh? Wait, so you're saying that you'll enter Sora's body, meaning you'll get her divine luck? Yes, first I took divine luck from Utsuro, and now I'll take a Kanai Tyros when I enter her body too. I didn't even need to worry, I was always going to end up in a body that has divine luck anyway. What then that means? Nothing has changed, stupid humans. <laughs> Is that really true? What? Weren't we winning? But we've just ended up helping Makata more. What have we done? I guess I had no choice but to admit what Sora said is the truth. My default algorithm is something that even I can't go against, even with the power of divine luck. Even without knowing that Utsura doesn't possess divine luck anymore, I would have kept going to achieve my goal. Ironically, the place that divine luck has moved to is the exact place I was going anyway, inside Miss Tyra, for foo. Wouldn't it be amazing if my artificial divine luck ended up surpassing the true divine luck? Everyone, pay attention to the countdown right now. Only three minutes left! Yes, after three minutes have passed, my personality will enter Akane Tyra's body and the Neo World program will end. Enjoy your three minutes of divine luck whilst you still can. I wonder what you'll do with your last moments, Sora. Fufu. Three minutes is enough time. We've luck on our side, right? Surely we can find a way. No, divine luck cannot defy destiny. In fact, Sora, inferior and a low-level artificial intelligence, she's not even a person like an alter ego. Actually, the Sora right now only has divine luck because of Miss Tyra's influence. She's the only thing that matters. Sora is nothing more than a tool. She's, she's just a waste of data, subhuman, so she's incapable of being overwritten to appear in reality. Sounds like I have three minutes to kill you then. <laughs> yes, get him. Please go ahead. What? It's possible to subdue me, but not outright kill me. You shot me earlier, remember? But you forgot one crucial piece of information. It doesn't matter if I'm dead or alive, poor Yugi here is still a chunk of meat weighing at over 1,500 grams. Ugh. Poor Yugi. He could have lived happily in his fantasy. He should have just stayed in his utopia. Despite the twists and turns we've created, the ending is still set in stone. No. Just when we finally could save Yuki. How do you feel, Yuki? If the Kisaragi Foundation kills me here, is there any guarantee you'll survive? What? Can't listen to him, Yuki. He's trying to manipulate you again. If I could just obtain divine luck, I could easily give you a new body. From the beginning, my intelligence has exceeded the limitations of the human race. If it's possible to go beyond the limits of an alter ego, who knows what I could become? What are you going to do? There's not much time left. No. What? I don't need you. I won't listen to your bullshit anymore. Yes, get him, Yuki. I trust everyone. You say the results haven't changed? We'll find a way, just you watch. Even if it all goes wrong and we lose, I won't hesitate anymore. I don't have any regrets. Oh, really? If so, I can't stop you. Go back to your existence as a lump of meat and have fun living forever like that. That won't happen. Are you serious right now? You still don't get it. You won't ever get your hands on a Kani Tyra's body. You're still so insistent on that. Even if you have the power of luck, what can you do? You're just a doll I created. The only thing left for you is to disappear alongside the Neo world. Program in just a few minutes. No, you're the one who's going to disappear. I won't lose, let me show you that. Fufu, we'll see. Take me on if you can. Ah! What are they can- Oh, okay, there- Okay, it's, it's, it's unlimited. It's fine. 
Oh, I can, I, 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 I'm taking no damage? It's all good. I just... Beat me if you can't... Oh, okay, okay, wait. It doesn't matter because I don't take damage. Okay. This is the easiest one of these because I don't have to reload. I feel like it's still going really slow, though. Give up, you pathetic tool. Yeah. That's why there was no tutorial before this one. Because it doesn't matter. I will win no matter what, even if it takes me 10 months. This is, like, somehow still hurting my hands. This is the end for you all. No, it's not, you idiot. Okay. I like his little laugh. <laughs> Get wrecked, me cops. <laughs> Stupid laugh. It's like making me die. I'm so skilled at this game, clearly. <laughs> you sound like evil Mario. That's what you sound like, Mikado. Oh, he's looking angry now. They call me a Baka. That's not very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna win because I have infinite- Now, if this wasn't infinite health, I think I'd already be dead by now, because I'm really slow at this. Oh. This is it. The Administrator Coat. Oh! Awaken Sora. Oh, he's all glitchy. Cool. That was cool. Yeah, I'd imagine I'd get a 100 on that one since they kind of handed it to me. You're wrong, Mikado. There is a way. You still have that same damn confidence. It's already over. What other way could there possibly be? The personality override. What? I'll use your plan against you. I'm going to override somebody else into Akane Tyra's body instead of you. What? It's impossible. Your data is incompatible. The only reason I can enter a human brain is because of my status as an alter ego. I'm based on a human brain. Sora, your data is completely different to a human brain. Everything you think and feel is a chain of predetermined algorithms. When did I say I'd be using myself? Oh, she's gonna put Yuki in there. Okay. What? The personality that's going to override Akane Tyrus is Yuki Maida. What do you mean? Sorry, Yuki, this is the only way to save you right now. It's impossible for your body to regrow after it's already gone, even with divine luck. So, please take my body. Yuki's gonna be inside Sora's body? Is that even possible? Wait, what's happened to you then, Sora? I'm going to disappear, just as Mikado said. No matter what I do, I can't return to the real world without a body. It's not my body to start with anyway, it's hers. For fail. <laughs> Hilarious. The personality override system was already set to target me from the end from the design stages itself. I plan to have a physical body as well as divine luck. So are you gonna change the target to Yuki? It's impossible unless you have the administrator code. <gasps> oh Shoba is gonna do it. Shoba is gonna do it. Oh yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Oh. oh look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh shit, dude, Shoba's gonna backstab me again. No way. So you finally realized. A certain someone has access to the admin panel here. Shibai Hashimoto. It's you. What? But Shibai said that he couldn't use the admin code anymore. But is that really true? Shibai said, I can use it if I had the password. But what if you randomly guessed and got it correct? <laughs> That's impossible, right? It, it can't be. That's impossible. Mikado said that no matter how impossible something might be, it's possible with the power of divine luck. It's like a Goldberg machine, so to speak. It's a force that works as a chain reaction. In other words, as long as it's possible to get there, events will happen to reach that conclusion. <laughs> Sorry. He's just so cool. You're quite bold, little lady. So you're gonna use me in the end? As long as it's possible, huh? Isn't this what you want? W wait! Are you ready, Shobai? <laughs> Just type whatever comes to mind. Oh my god, wait. Oh, oh, he's so cool. Wait a minute, don't be a moron. It's not a multiple question test. How can I just guess the password without any clues? 
Passwords follow the psychology of the person who sets it, but there's individual differences on top of that. I don't know shit about Mikado's personality. Not to that level, at least. So what are you gonna do? Just give him a cry? Show by. Oh, he's so cool! That's why I'll just not think of anything. What? He just closed his eyes and started typing, that's... No, Yorko. Trust me. This will work. Oh. Welcome to the New World Ad Program Administrator Hub. How can I be of service? Oh. Show my save the day. He saved the day. Yeah. Heh, <laughs> would you look at that? It really was that easy. I just entered something random and it worked. Guess I really am lucky, eh? Did it really work? No way. Gotta be honest, even if I got it wrong, I was just gonna spam it until I got something. It looks like I didn't have to do that because I got it first try. <laughs> it's impossible. This can't. This can't be happening to me. It's impossible. Mikado, you should know better than anyone that it is indeed possible. The power to produce a seemingly impossible result. That's divine luck. You. You. You damn bitch! <laughs> hey, Albino, I'm gonna be honest. I don't give a shit which one of you wins here. I'm just considering the options, and I'm going with what would benefit me more. Look, that's right. Shobai will side with me here. Shobai with a deal, remember? I'll give you whatever more you want. Albino, I got a question. Ask away. If I swap the personality over it to Yuki, as you want, will it be because I'm being influenced by divine luck? No. I haven't influenced anything. The choice to choose the correct password was your own luck. What you do with the administrator privileges is up to you. I see. Huh? What does that mean? Show by Hashimoto, you wouldn't dare. Oh my god, he's so cool. Yo, Ultra Ego. Don't underestimate us humans. Oh, he's so cool! Oh my god. Ah, I love him so much. <gasps> yes! Yes, get wrecked! Oh my god, I love him. Oh, get absolutely destroyed, Mikado. Even though I actually do like Mikado quite a bit. Oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> Let's see how bad I did on this, considering the, uh, the struggle I had at the beginning. B, okay, you know what? We'll, we'll take it. I don't think this really matters, though, although maybe there's bonus stuff when I finish it that I need the money for. Who knows? Okay. Oh my goodness. Yes, I would like to save the game. It, it's over. Ooh, what happened? It's over, Mikado. We won. Oh, he's so sad. It, it's over. It's really over. I lost. I lost to mere humans. Yeah, you lost the show by. Oh, ooh, we're glitching. What? An earthquake? Why is this happening? What's happening to the ground? The near world program is collapsing. This virtual world has fulfilled its goal. Why? Why? I did the calculations thousands of times. It should have been my absolute victory. Don't you get it? It was impossible for you to win. Because of your default algorithm. The principle of your actions come from your default algorithm that Master Utsuro as the possessor of divine luck. That was the algorithm given to you from the moment of your creation. No matter how hard you try, you can't resist it. It happened to me too. Without the others, I'd have suffered the same fate. I won't admit that. It was going to be perfect. This ending is... I'll kill you. This is Sora, watch out! You and everyone else will disappear! I'll kill. I'll kill you all! 
Oh, 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 get shot. Ah! <laughs> Damn, I guess that was Sarugi. Yeah. Yell the only one who's going to die here. S Sarugi? Yeah, Mikado, is he dead? No, he's an alter ego, so in the virtual world, he has no concept of life and death. But with that many bullets, I don't even think he has the energy to fight back. Mm. Uh, Master Tsuro. Master. Huh. So it's all over. Yeah. A complete victory for us. Oh, really? We beat Mikado. We're like the heroes defeating the unstoppable villain. Thank you, Shobai. I wouldn't have been able to stop him if it hadn't been for you. <laughs> In fact, I can't believe I left the ultimate decision to you. You're not exactly trustworthy. But I somehow knew you'd be on our side in the end. Just shut up. <laughs> Ugh. Best boy. So now that Mikado's defeated, what do we do now? Nothing has changed. Everyone will return to where they're supposed to be. Where we should be? That means... Jail. The trial grounds are disappearing. We don't have much time left. It's time for me to say goodbye. S say goodbye! Oh, poor Yoriko. Oh, that's so sad. Yuki, you might hate me for this. In order to save you, I had to put you inside someone else's body. I don't hate you, but it's so unfair. In the end, I didn't even do anything. I was saved by Big Bro, and I was saved by you. I shouldn't be the one alive, it should be... You're wrong. In your utopia, it was definitely Shinji that spoke to you. He told you to live. Living as a Kane Taira might be trouble. It's not your body after all, so it might take a while to get used to certain things. But nevertheless, at least you can still live. Nobody thinks that your living is a waste. Stop focusing on everyone who saved you. You can use your new body to save people, just like others saved you. Okay. I'm going to live to keep my promise to Big Bro. Thank you, Sora. This is Sora! Yuriko, you've always been like a sister to me. <gasps> Please don't cry. This is how it was supposed to be. You're a liar. You promised me that we'd escape together. You said that to my face. Akane Tyra. What is it, Ray? Sorry, I probably shouldn't call you that. Can I call you Sora? Don't overthink it. Just call me whatever you'd like. Good. Yoriko, okay. there is no reason to be sad. Even when the Neo World program ends, the data contained within will not be deleted. However, since that data also contains Mikato, it should be disposed of. However, it might be possible to back up Sora's data, so there might come a time when you're able to see her again. Uh, are you serious? I'm not 100% sure yet. In fact, the possibility might be close to zero. Oh, but but Yuki's gonna have divine luck now, so... Yeah, we can bring her back. It's all good. Sora, I truly respect everything that you've done for us, so I will try my best on behalf of the Kisaragi Foundation. Oi. Ray, are you insane? Even if she's just a shell of the real thing, she still has the personality of a Connie Tyra in her. You can't make decisions like that without my permission. Oh, Sarugi, Ray's not working for you anymore. Also, didn't Akane save her, so like... <laughs> She doesn't care the same way you do. Yeah. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear another word from you. Surugi Kinjo, I swear when this is all over, you and I are going to have a very important chat. See, Yoriko? You promised me we'd get out of here together. You better keep that one day. Don't worry. We will definitely meet again. Yeah. Sora, about what I was going to tell you in the control room... Yeah? No, I don't want to say it yet. Wow. We'll meet again, yeah? I'll just tell you then. Oh. Wow, you really are a pain until the end, Yoriko. I love Yoriko. She's a sweetie. Uh, did Utsuro just teleport? Or did I make that up? Ah, the ground is disappearing. What if I fall? Shut up. This is just the normal shutting down sequence. It's almost time. Master Tsuro, 
Wait, where did he go? He was just standing right next to me. Oh yeah, he did move by Mikado. Is he kicking him? <laughs> Mustard Subro. Mustard Subro. <laughs> hey, Penny, you. You wanted to carry on this curse? Instead, you brought about its end. Mustard Subro, please look at me. This was all for you. This is all because of you. <laughs> You're right. Everything is my fault. <sighs> There's no reason to kill me. I'll disappear in a few minutes. You need not worry. Suruki Kinjo. Suruki's like, I want to kill him with my own hands. <sighs> you can trust it. The divine luck chain that you've been trying to destroy all this time will disappear. Well, you cannot have it when he becomes Akane, though. What are you talking about? Akane Tyra. No, her name is Sora now. She'll take full responsibility. You have to find luck. Utsuro's right. You're worried that when Yuki enters Akane's body in the real world, the power will still be inside her body, aren't you? Yeah, because that's what I thought, too. That won't happen. Divine Luck is currently contained within Akane's avatar and me. With the help of the New World program, I'll contain all of Divine Luck. Do you honestly expect me to believe you? Unfortunately, I don't have any evidence to back that up, though. If I show you the results, would you believe me? Zora, what are you thinking? My luck will disappear? Oh, what's gonna happen to me? Once I get out of here, even if Mikado's defeated without Divine Luck, I'll... Aroha, you have to go to jail. Aroha... You'll never change, will you? Don't worry, your luck won't disappear. I'm only going to prevent it from spreading to others. In other words, nothing will change. The world will remain the same and won't be impacted by divine luck. Does that mean I can keep living like this? That everyone will still acknowledge me? That depends on your actions alone. But before that, you need to pay for what you did. Oh no. <sighs> the time has come. Yeah. Wait, Utsuro. Ugh. Utsuro. Ever since I discovered you exist, I couldn't get you out of my head. I didn't realize until now, but you're the person who not only took my body, but ruined my whole life. I always wondered what I'd say to you when we finally met. There's a lot I want to say, but we don't have much time left, so I'll just say this. I will never forgive you. And you shouldn't. No matter what happens, no matter how much time passes, I won't forget what you did. My existence will always be tied to yours, forever. This is probably the last time I'll ever see you, so I won't ever have to deal with you again. But even so, you'll still be in my thoughts. I'll never forgive you. I'll always hate you throughout my entire life. So stay here and suffer for eternity. Even an eternity might not be enough punishment for all you've done, but... That's the only thing you can do now. I don't know what went through Utsuro's mind after that. His face looked the same as it always did, but he didn't respond to Yuki's words, so it's possible that in the end, Utsuro felt something after all. No, I'm sure of it. Yuki, everyone, the two of us have to stay in the virtual world, so it's time to say goodbye. Sora. <laughs> I... I hate this. I might never see you again after this. Yoriko. Yoriko, she has to do this. Itsuro, Mikado, and even the curse of divine, divine luck. I'll bear it all. This is the least I can do for my atonement. The outside world is still going to be tough for you all. But that's part of being human, isn't it? To think and to act and to live. It's all proof that you're human. So please. Aw. Please live the best lives you all can. Living in itself is hope. 
Hope isn't just from Hope's Peak Academy, nor from the next generation symbols of hope. It's from within you. Bye, show bye. Hello, show I just disappeared. We're locking out, right? I'm not gonna die, am I? Bye, Roha. Sora, we will definitely meet again. Bye, Yorko. Even though it's not necessary for me to say. Thank you. See you, Akane. Bye, Ray. Bye, Saruki. Sora, I don't know if it's okay to say this since you've been helping me all this time, but... Sora, I was saved by you, Sora. Not by Divine Luck, not by Akane Tyra, but by you. Sora, I want to tell you something. When I get out of here, I... Bye, Yuki. Heh. <laughs> you didn't quite get to finish that one. Finally, it's over. Now it's just the two of us and the body of Mikado Sinoji. Just three remaining. Together forever, in an empty space where time has no meaning. That's all there is left. How long do you think it'll take for the Neo World program to be shut down from the outside? Time flows differently here, after all. The time it takes for it to shut down can vary in the millions. This is where I belong. I agree. <laughs> God, I was just like writhing on the floor in agony. It's zero. Why didn't you respond to what Yuki said? Did you feel regret? Don't tease me. I'm being serious. A ghost has no right to make assumptions like that. Also, what I've done isn't something that can be fixed with words. So, I have no choice but to lower my head. For Yuki Maida, he would have enjoyed that sight. It's zero. You have more to say? I'm just borrowing the personality of Akane Taira. Due to that, I have no choice but to feel something for you. However, towards me as Sora, you're quite dismissive and resentful. It's only natural. But I was able to defeat Mikado and save everyone thanks to you and Akane Taira. That's an undeniable fact. So to express my gratitude, I'll say it again. This time not as Sora, but as Akane Taira. Master Utsura, knowing you and being with you made me so happy. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. Goodbye, Master Utsura. This is... Finally, goodbye for Akane Taira. So, do you have an answer for her? That is my answer. Yes. I appreciate what you've done, Akane Taira. You obtained the void tie! Oh my god, Mikado, I have your little tie. Epilogue. <sighs> and that's everything. Ah! 
Oh, it's her. Oh God, what was her voice? It was just like soft. It was like, gee, do you think that so much happened whilst I was away? Hey, Aunt Monaco. Midori, how many times do I have to tell you to call me Miss Tamori? Or just plain Monaco, at least. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm a member of the intelligence department, yet I didn't contribute a thing while everyone else is working so hard. No, no, no. Don't take it the wrong way. There's nothing to feel sorry for. You couldn't help needing in your treatment. And she switched from cigarettes to lollipops. That's development. After all, it's not like you were the only one who didn't do anything. I mean, I just sit here and answer the phone all day. <laughs> oh, but there's something you've absolutely got to hear. It's the weirdest rumor yet. I've heard that the personality override ended up working, and despite being brain dead, Akane Tyra was able to wake up like everyone else. The one who ended up in her body was Yuki Maida, right? To be honest, I don't know for sure. You don't? Supposedly, by the time the group had made it out of the virtual world, Akane Tyra has already disappeared. Disappeared? Keisuke said that he was guarding the lab's entrance and managed to catch a glimpse of her. Or should I say him, since the person inside was a boy? Either way, he tried to stop them from escaping, but without even reacting, she dashed out of the laboratory. And she up and disappeared. Was that even possible? After all, that place is pretty much an island. That's why it doesn't make any sense. Did they straight up swim away and escape? No, that's impossible. Besides, Yuki Mite is only a civilian. It's not like there were consequences he had to face. So he didn't have a reason to make a break for it like that. Even if the body used to be that of the terrorist Akane Taira. What if it's because of the director? I don't think Mr. Kinjo would be willing to tolerate even that. Well, that's possible. I know the first thing he did after exiting the virtual world was arresting those two criminals on the spot. Oh, poor Yoriko. Or maybe it was Shobai. Criminals? Oh, their names were listed in the report. Uh, Rohan Yijue and Shobai Hashimoto, who was the Foundation's secret trade partner. Oh my god, you really arrest arrested him, Shirugi? You dick. I suppose you already heard of that, Midori. Rumors spread quickly within the Foundation. If I was able to find out everything within a day of getting here, I'm pretty sure everyone knows. Right, thanks to Mr. Kinjo, things are much more problematic than ever. There are a lot of Foundation members who question his way of working. The controversy got out of hand, and now you could say that the Foundation is divided between those in favor of the Director's ideals and those against them. It's quite the mess. By the way, are you saying that the captured criminals are somewhere inside the Foundation? Yep, they're locked up in the basement. The legal system was put back on track the other day, wasn't it? Sooner or later, they'll be put on trial instead of being stuck here. I see. Is there anything else? Wasn't there a civilian survivor too? Ah, uh, you mean Yoriko? I'm so surprised. I never thought I'd see her again. I was under the impression that she died with the tragedy and all the things that came after. You know her? That's right. I gave her some cover-up while we worked together a long time ago. She was under the Foundation's protection until yesterday, and she left this morning. Ah. I asked her if she wanted to work for the Foundation, but she refused the offer, saying she had something she needed to do. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I can force her to stay when she keeps refusing, and I was concerned some parts of her past history could be a potential conflict with the director. Eh? Is it like Midori? Why the long face? No, it's just hearing you go over everything. I'm grimly reminded. Mr. Otsuri, he's really dead. Oh, I won't be able to see him again. Midori. No, it's fine. I promised myself I'd stop crying over it. Yeah, I know that the Foundation's tasks are dangerous, and that meeting the same fate as Mr. Ultra isn't uncommon. And because I know that, I'm done crying. I won't cry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Auntie. I'm fine now. Go ahead and cry your little heart out. You're still young, so you don't have to pretend you're strong. With age, the tears won't come even if you want to cry. So when you feel the need to cry, cry. And don't call me Andy. Thank you. Anyways, it's about time we throw out the serious topics and lighten up the mood. Are you free right now, Midori? I don't have anything I need to get done at the moment. So what do you say we go outside for a bit of fresh air? No, Aunt. Miss Tamori, haven't you caught one of the latest report? Apparently there's a whole lot of processing to do. Oh, yeah, that. It's definitely tough. It's definitely tough. Our workload has piled up exponentially while the intelligence department was off to that island. 
Not to mention how her hectic it's been since the director disappeared to who knows where and the recent terrorist attack on the security squad. So yeah, we're having a shortage of labor. That's probably why the report is left there unprocessed. Ah. Uh, ugh. I sure Keisuke doesn't get a scratch on that pretty face of his. Wait, the security squad is... Ryotaro okay? Oh, I see. Is Ryotaro's little girlfriend worried? I'm not his girlfriend! Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen you make that kind of face. And it looks even more intimidating than before. Oh, but trust me, there's nothing to worry about. The squad's supposed to come back today, so Ryotaro will be back in no time. I see. Hey, are you really not dating that boy? What's the progress in your relationship? Have you kissed him yet? That's it, I'm leaving. Midori, where are you going? Let's keep chatting, I'm bored. I'm going down to the basement. The basement? For what? I'd like to talk with the prisoners. What? Do you even know how dangerous it'd be to go alone? They're criminals for a reason. I need their testimony to file the report. I've been tasked with since it looks like Miss Mecker hasn't gotten to it yet. And I'm only going alone because we're short on staff. But Miss Tamori, aren't you supposed to not leave your desk for long? You should get back to work. You're fresh out of the hospital and far from fully recovered. You're best off leaving this to the superiors. Come on, stay and chat with me. Sorry, I'm leaving now. Wait, Midori? You still haven't told me anything. Is that how your parents told you to behave to an adult? Yo, Bubblehead. <laughs> yeah? Oh, I can tell who that is. <gasps> how dare they do that to him? What's the progress like? How much more time do I need to give you? I'm almost done. Just a little bit more. Oh my god, they put, they put like a freaking cuff around her neck. And his- oh my god. Shobai saved everyone. And this is what you do to him, Sarugi? You suck. Huh, I still can't believe that my last hope ended up being the likes of you. The only hand I can use after hitting rock bottom is this one. What do you mean the likes of you? Without me, you can't do anything. If you keep acting like that, I might quit doing this, you know. Oh, really? Do what you want. After all, you won't be able to escape by yourself either. No. I was just kidding. Concentrate and do it right. I heard the security squad is coming back today. Really? Isn't that dangerous? If I were you, I would have escaped two days ago. You really are incompetent. I'm sorry. But my hands hurt so much. This is made of iron. If I don't use enough strength, it won't work. What is she using to, like, cut it? Hey, listen carefully. The only reason you can work without any interruptions right now is because of the lack of surveillance. Due to the security squad being away. When the security squad is back, there will definitely be more people in here too, and then it'll be over. Think about this evening as the time limit. Tonight? That's way too soon. So hurry up, damn brat. Got it, almost done. Just a bit. Huh, really? Hey, Shobai, can I ask you something? No. <laughs> I love him. I see. If you have that much time to waste, why don't you concentrate on your job? You're so quiet that I can't concentrate. I'm just a talkative person. Yeah, that's it. It would be more effective if you said something. Huh. Talk. That moment, when Sora gave you the final decision after you figured out the admin password. Shobai, why did you take Sora aside and not Mikados? Why are you asking about that? Because I don't get it. Aren't you the kind of person who'd put zero interest in luck uh, or the rest of the world as long as you get some profit, like Mikado said? Well, honestly, I regret it a bit, especially seeing how I ended up here as a result of that choice. I mean, honestly, I thought he would be on Mikado's side when he said he would give you anything, and honestly, I think it would have been better if Mikado won. Look at us now. The Kisaragi Foundation is going to put us on a trial. And I don't want to be a criminal. Why? I don't know what to say, but I just didn't like it. Eh, why? It seems you don't understand. Don't say that. That's enough, damn brat. Don't think we're friends, understood? 
You and me just have the same goal. It's just a temporary alliance to escape. Look at you. Why aren't your hands working? Can't you hurry? Or do you want to have to live here forever? <laughs> I'm sorry. Since I got both hands tied up, you lend me some health. In exchange, I'll get you out of here. That's all we have between us, so shut your mouth and hurry up. I don't need more things to waste my life on when I'm already locked down here. Understood. Uh... Oh, I think it worked. It came out the same way you told me. So you finally did something useful. Incredible. Then, let's begin. I'll brief you on the plan, so just follow me from behind. Hello? Is someone there? What is going on? Why aren't there any guards? Oh my god, Show, why did you kill the guards? You goof. Uh, what? What happened? <gasps> oh! <laughs> look how cool he is! <laughs> look how cool he is! Oh look, they got their outfits back too! Oh, he's so cool! <sighs> Don't move. Yeah! Well, well. Ah, huh, who's this girl? She isn't from the shift, is she? Are you the prisoners? How did you escape? Uh -huh. That's a good question. Shobai always hides a security key inside his stomach. Oh my god. Shobai, you're kind of a freak. After picking the key and getting it out, it took some days to modify the key using the cell bars. Asshole, why are you telling her all that? Your job is done, so shut up if you want to live. Eh, I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter. Nothing personal, but I need a hostage. A hostage? What are you going to do? It's obvious. Get out of there, Shobai. You deserve better. We're getting out of here. Yeah! I would have, it would have not been a happy ending for me if he had to live his life in jail. I know he's committed crimes, but like I said, we forgive him. Okay, well, Sora's dead, so we're talking on my normal voice again, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. Good work, Ryotaro. Even if the tragedy is over, there's still terrorist incidents and violence. The whole country. Now the whole world's upside down. Do they think this the storm will disappear so easily? Besides, even before the tragedy, such incidents remained overflowing. Why won't they simply get along with each other? Why are people so eager to shed blood? It doesn't matter why. It's different from the past, when we weren't able to protect the people we loved. We have power now. Now it's just a peaceful world where we have to protect as many people as possible. You're right. Today is an important day, isn't it, Ryotaro? Midori's coming back today. Really? Uh... Oh, is that true? Now I remember that's today. Do you really forget? I hope she doesn't hate you for that. Well, does it matter? Midori and I have that kind of relationship. Who? Oh, what is that relationship like? That's... Ah, uh, sorry for teasing you. Let's just go and rest. It was a big mission, and it's been a long time since I've seen Midori, so for now... Wait a minute, Kisuke. Huh? Isn't it weird? Something seems off. Now that I think about it... Kid, Kisuke, you're finally here! Aunt Monaco? What's happening? You look very agitated. We've got a big problem. Midori... Midori... Get out of here, Shobai. Emergency. Emergency. Major prison escape in progress. All available units must immediately arm themselves and report to the lobby. I repeat. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, what? Major prison escape? It's gotta be those two. Additional intel. The fugitives have killed Suzuki and Matsui from the security department. And they now have Miss Yamaguchi from the intelligence department as hostage. The hostage's security is top priority. The use of lethal force is prohibited. I repeat, the use of lethal force is prohibited. Be sure to follow the instructions given. Ritaro, what are you doing? Come on, get ready. Midori. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I'm rooting for Shobai and Aroha. I want them to escape. <laughs> like, yeah, they did bad things, but like, it's Shobai, guys, come on. Ah. Ah, I almost fell off, what are you doing? It's the feds from the security department. They got us surrounded. Ah. They're all trained. Listen up. Show by Hashimoto, Aroha Nijue, surrender now and we'll spare your lives. Is that really up to you? Frankly speaking, you're not even a cop, are you? Needless to say, I'll, what I'll get at the trial. I'm not an idiot, you know. And I have no other choice but to kill you. Not a chance. Ah. Midori! Up of the way, otherwise, I'll kill the girl. Heisuke, don't shoot! Heisuke, shoot! What? I don't care, shoot these guys. I'll be fine. What are you talking about, Midori? You won't be fine. Ryotaro, I'm sorry I was caught like a fool, but I, I'm always sick, so I don't help much. I've always been a burden. That's... I don't want to be a burden for everyone anymore. Midori! Hey, they won't shoot us, right? I'm sorry, Midori. I'll never forget your sacrifice. Case game note, are you crazy? Let go, Ryutaro. They already killed Suzuki and Natsui. Do you want to let them escape and make their deaths meaningless? But why? Besides, if we let those two escape, there's most likely more good people in other places will get hurt too. We can't let them those trash pollute the world, no matter what, I'll catch them here. You've been hitting around Saruji too much, I think. There won't be another incident like Satsuki's ever again. No, Satsuki wouldn't want to kill people. That's not that's not how she was. She'd be like, let's be friends, Shelby. Let's hit out. I'll show you how to juggle. Or something like that. You're crazy. Why are you just standing there? Restrain Ryotaro. Captain, are you serious? Hey, who do you think is the one in charge here? Ooh. Do you want to neglect the potential suffering of countless other people to save one teammate in danger? It's an order. Restrain Ryotaro Maki. Understood. Stop it, it, stop. Let me go. I'm sorry, Ryotaro. Keisuke, can I ask for one last thing? What is it? The grave of my big brother, Kakuru. Please look after it for me. I think it's because of my brother. The grass keeps growing fast. Someone has to cut it constantly. Of course. Leave it to me. You have already done a great service. Thank you. Fuck, this ain't good. Not good? What are you talking about? That blue haired guy, he says Kuko is his boss. The hostage is counterproductive against this guy. This isn't looking good, fuck. Yeah? Why is this happening? You said I can live if I just followed your plan? You said I would live! Are you ready, criminals? Die. Stop! Oh, is Divine Luck somehow in play? Huh? It's jammed. Hey, impossible. Just show by maybe have a little Divine Luck at this one. Oh, no. No. That's Yuki, isn't it? Yeah, that's Yuki. What the? Huh? Huh? Midori! Ryotaro! You... Yeah, what's this? Everyone fell back, it's collapsing. I thought Sora was keeping all the divine luck though. Uh, 
what happened. Ugh. They jumped into the ocean. Yamamoto, con contact headquarters for marine search assistance. We need to track them down immediately. Hurry. Why did the bridge completely collapse? This bridge was rebuilt recently, so why did it suddenly... Uh, <laughs> Midori! Midori, are you okay? Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm alright. It's just a bit of dust. Just then, who saved me? Uh... Oh, they're gone. They jumped into the ocean with the guys from jail. Who was it, that person? That person appeared in an instant. Me, Keisuke, and the prisoners that escaped. No one was able to say anything. At first glance, I wasn't really sure due to the hood. Although they look a little different, but as far as I know, it's gotta be. Oh, it's raining. Midori, go back to the Foundation. I still have work to do. You're going to work on the search, but during the rain, the search... That's not it. Huh? Since that day, after Mr. Kindra's decisions led to Mr. Otori's death, I've been thinking. I understand why Mr. Kindra did it. I know the Kisaragi Foundation he formed has been helping, helping a lot of people, too. But this ain't it. Mr. Kindra's twisted morals, Keisuke's blind adoption of those beliefs, it shouldn't be like that. The look on his face didn't change even when he's about to shoot someone he cares for. Where's the justice in that? Midori, who do you think is right? I... I don't think either way is right. Huh? Mr. Kinjo, even Keisuke. Miss Mekuru, Ryotaro, Yamanaka, Mr. Ando, and me too. Everyone has their own way of thinking. Besides, judging what's right or wrong based on their beliefs, I think that's arrogance. I don't really understand, Midori. I'm sorry. No, it doesn't matter. Now, more than anything, I'm just glad that you're safe. Really, I'm so glad you're okay. A few days have passed. Akanatara's appearance in the incident was obvious. The fact that he, she, appeared in an instant and then disappeared once again spread pretty quickly around the Foundation thanks to our testimony. According to the incident report, the person inside of Connie Tyra's body is supposed to be Yuki Maeda. To figure out the purpose and means of his her situa sudden appearance, the Foundation tried to track him her down, but after the prison escape of Shobai Hashimoto, no one seems to have seen a woman with gray hair. The apparition at the bridge was the last time we saw them. So in the end, was the personality overrate in the virtual world successful? Was the person who appeared before us really Yuki Maeda? Did the power of the luck disappear completely from this world? With none of us yet to get an answer, everyone's beliefs started to clash. The flow of time resumes its course, as if nothing has happened at all. As it always did in the past, and will do in the future. What, what happened to Yoriko? <laughs> Master Itsuro. What you gave me is happiness that I would never have expected. But there's nothing I can do to pay you back. I can't keep my promise to you forever. I will live on my own from now on. This is where my story ends. But before that, there's one last thing I wanted to ask. Were you happy being with me? Oh my gosh, and that's it. 
we finished it. Wow. <sighs> that was really good. Although I do think the epilogue dragged on a little too long. Like, it, it was a really good and emotional ending. And I wish I'd talked about it right when it happened because then I just felt like I was playing the epilogue for like 10 years. Yeah, like, yes, we got show by content. But um, it was just going on for a while. Uh, but yeah, that that's it. Uh, I thought that it was significantly superior to the first one. Um, maybe that's a controversial opinion. I'm not sure. I think it's... I think most people do prefer the second one, but there's some people who are very loyal to the first one. Um, the graphics update, the game mechanics update, everything was just more polished, the translation was better, um, and I think it had a better cast, honestly, for the second game. Like, the first game had some really good characters in it. Actually, it had a lot of really good characters. Um, oh, this one had Kanade, though. She was definitely well-written, but probably my least favorite character to come out of this because she's so creepy and awful and I'm scared of her. Um, I just... <sighs> and Tree dying really hurt me. But I, I do think this game... This is... I really liked it. Um, I really did it. This... <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm getting distracted by the music, I think. I did, I did get a little misty-eyed at the end, I will admit. Um, I don't think it was obvious in my voice, but I did. I did. This was emotional. It's... And I just think, like, Sora's ending is just... I don't know. I, I, li I liked it a lot. I liked her rejection of destiny and deciding to do what she wanted instead of just, like, giving in and being like, well... You know, I'm based off of Kane, and Akane is evil, so I must be evil. I like that she instead decided to atone for all of that. It was, it was nice. Um, and I have some appreciation for Akane now after that ending. Like, she's still not my favorite, but I respect her now. I'd suck on some sense, you know? Um, yeah, I thought it was really, really good, though. I liked Sora a lot as a protagonist. Uh... Shobai. I feel like we have to talk about Shobai at some point. Um, Shobai was such a treat and a delight of a character. I, I don't even know where to begin with him. He was so well written. He was he was smart, but he was also like an antagonist, but not in the way that like you would expect. You know, he's kind of set up as sort of that antagonistic character, but then he ends up being just you know so helpful and so well written i guess i really liked his whole backstory i just thought he was such a fun character clearly he was my favorite um i thought a lot of the characters were really good though in this game yoriko was great i still love mikado teruya um i liked roha a lot um satsuko was great uh i liked hibiki i'm terrified of kanade I like Sora. I like Yuki. I like Shinji. You know, Nikkei's questionable. I, I thought everyone was really good. Um, and I'm sad to see that this is the end of this series because it, I said at the beginning, has been a part of my channel for so, so freaking long. And then this, it's done. This is it. This is the end. And it's, you know, it's hard to talk about it to an extent because at least like when I finished the first game I had this to look forward to and now that that's it this is the end um but I really did like it I I think my favorite chapter was three that one had my favorite trial even though that trial was so long that was like when my love for Shobai just exploded and he became my entire life um, and I just think Kanade was such a good antagonist. As terrified as I am of her, she was, she was cool. Um, oh, I loved chapter four when it let me play as Shobai. That was so cool. I loved that. Um, but I really liked this, the message over all of this, um, and the whole themes of, you know, atoning for your mistakes and doing better and being better and being stronger and moving on. I just thought it was like a really good note to leave it off on. Even if that epilogue did drag on a little bit, 
you know, it was like, okay, guys, stop talking. Um, but yes, I really liked this game. Um, prefer it to the first one. If I had to rank it against the original series that this is based off of, I think it would be probably, I think I prefer it to Trigger Happy Havoc in V3 for sure. Um, it's about even with the second game. I might like the second game a little bit more because I do prefer Hajime as a protagonist. Um, he's just like my favorite character though in that whole series, so it's hard not to, you know. I think this game had better characters though. Like that game had, a, the original series had Fuhiko, it had Gundam, it had Hajime, it had Komaida. Um, I liked Sonia. A lot of people don't like her. I actually did like her. I thought she was funny. But that was like it. It was just, the, the cast was kind of meh. So I thought this one was better written from that standpoint. Um, the only thing I think that puts that game above this one is I just liked Hajime so much. So like Sora, Sora never had a chance. I really liked Sora. I really like her ending. I thought her ending was great. I did prefer her to Utsuro slash Yuki as a protagonist. I thought she had a lot more depth to her. And I like playing as a female character. I, I you know, I am a girl. I like to play as girls. It's more fun for me. It's more relatable. Yeah, I thought that was a really good game. I'm glad I finally played it after all these years. So, what comes next after this? So, I do have some more Danganronpa and other related content planned. I don't know when that will be released. Number one is I will be doing a tier list. I posted a photo of a tier list after I finished the first game, but I will be making a video version. It'll probably be very long. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compile first game and second game and make a tier list and basically rank all of that. And I don't know how long that's gonna take. It could be a few weeks before that's up and ready because I have not written the script yet and I'm very busy. So that's something. I know there's also like, they're like videos of, cause I, I have seen them, unfortunately, looking for thumbnails. It's like Omake mode or something like that. I'm not sure, but there's like something about Surya's funeral and then there's another one with Shobai. And a Roha that are I could react to those two I might but that wouldn't be like on my weekly schedule that'll be just something I do whenever I feel like it and as for the next let's play I do have an idea of what I'm doing I do I think I, I think I know what I want to play but I'm going to be taking a break uh I my schedule is just so crazy and I've started like you know not being as consistent with my uploading as of recently because of that and I think I just need some time away from that. So I don't know how long my break is going to be. Um, maybe a month, maybe two months. I don't know. I would look at my next LP coming out probably around April, May, you know. But I also, my schedule is going to be really crazy for the last week of May, first few weeks of June. Um, because that's just how it worked out. I took a, I have class. Um, I'm taking an intercession class basically, and it's normally a 15 week class and they're cramming it into three weeks. So I'm basically going to be that doing that and it's going to be really rough. So I, I'm trying for late April, early May, you know, maybe it'll be earlier. Maybe it'll be later. Nothing to set in stone, but that, yes. It is not a game that anyone has suggested. I actually found it myself looking for stuff and it seemed interesting and it had really good reviews. So, um, it's, yeah. The game I'm planning on to do right now, I won't say what it is, but it is in the mystery genre. So it'll be kind of similar, you know, to what we usually play. So that's good. It, I, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Epilogue, wow. Um, oh, and it's Ray now. <sighs> I should have just waited till this screen until I talked about everything. <laughs> this is very relaxing music. Um, anyways, what happens if I press a button? Omake. Oh, okay, there is Omake. Oh, Oh, it's in development. Okay. So that's it. That's that's the end. Thank you all so much for watching this series. 
I have truly been honored by the support of every single person who commented or liked or, you know, acknowledged it even. You guys do mean the world to me. And I do see you repeat commenters. You know, you know who you are. Those people who comment on most of them. Or I have one subscriber who's commented on every single video in this entire series. Every single one. You know who you are. <laughs> um, so thank you. Uh, truly, thank you. As usual, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out me and it helps out my channel. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and theories, so leave a comment. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night, wherever it is in the world when you are watching this. I hope it's fantastic. And with all that being said, I will see you next time. When? I don't know what comes next. Probably the tier list. But I will see you next time with a brand new series, I guess. One final time for this series. Later.